Over the past 10 years, I have created more than 100 videos, from documentaries to travel videos, YouTube and commercials, and I have always tried to create the best content I can. In addition to planning, filming and editing, I also spend a lot of time in grading, sound design and even thumbnails. But there is one area that I've never really managed to improve until recently, especially since starting YouTube, and that is animated titles and motion graphics. So today's video is how to use Motion Array to improve your videos and elevate the production value of your work. This is Flo from Off to Lens, and let's get into it. As always, I wouldn't tell you guys to use something if I didn't use it myself. I've started using Motion Array last year in December, and I wanted to make enough videos so I could give you my honest opinion. Having better titles and graphics has been on my mind for years, but I never had the time. Between being a working filmmaker and photographer, and also recently a dad, my schedule is usually quite busy throughout the year, and learning these things takes time. I don't have the skills to create animated titles, graphics or templates, I tried and gave up many times. I also almost bought a few packs from different sites and creators, but it can cost quite a lot to buy several packs that would work with all my different projects. So when Motion Array approached me, I decided to give it a go, since I felt I might never get to do it otherwise. So first of all, what is Motion Array? Motion Array is an all-in-one platform for creators where you can find pretty much everything you need in order to create videos. You can find unlimited royalty-free stocks assets, from video templates, to presets, motion graphics, plug-in to photos, royalty-free music, and sound effects. So everything is sorted by categories such as templates, presets, motion graphics, or by software, with Final Cut, After Effects, Premiere Pro, and even DaVinci. It's super easy to use and nicely laid out. You have the choice of a monthly subscription for $29.99 or an annual membership for $249.99. There's also a team option. And of course, you have unlimited downloads. I can use the assets for my YouTube videos, for example, but also for documentary and commercial work. Feel free to use the link in the description to check it out. How it works and the way I use it. All the titles you have seen on my recent videos are from Motion Array. With all the content that you can find on the platform, you can pretty much create anything. For me though, since my content is quite minimal and straightforward, I didn't need anything too crazy. It was more about finessing and enhancing than creating. Out of the thousands of assets you can find on the site, the one I used the most and the reason I decided to start using Motion Array in the first place are templates for titles and callouts. I use titles for sections and chapters in my video and since I do quite a lot of camera gear reviews, these come in very handy. I've always liked to have chapters in my video from the very start. I used to use simple writing, then added color backgrounds, but I much prefer the way it looks now with the new animated titles. I also use callouts for specs or info on specific items, such as the sensor size of a camera or its price. Using the site and assets is super easy. I work with Final Cut Pro, so I prefer to search based on software, but you can also search using the categories. You have thousands of options and it can be a little overwhelming at first, so I decided to keep things simple and look for minimal titles and callouts since they fit my content best. The great thing about it is that you can preview each of the packs so you have an idea of how it actually looks before you download. Some are 4K and some are 1080. Once you have found something you like, you can either download it directly or create a collection to save it and add it with others. One other asset that I always use now and that is for YouTube only is a subscribe button. It took me hours to actually settle on that one. I downloaded a pack that had quite a few and tried them all. I also started to use some arrows on my latest video to show distances. With Final Cut Pro, it's super easy to import your assets and start using them. You can then change the color and size of different aspects of a specific asset. Using Motion Array can be subtle and can be used for a wide variety of applications. In my case, it could be a callout for a location or specific info, or a lower third name during an interview, a title for a chapter, but you can also use complicated motion graphics or more complex animated titles. Of course, this video is based on my use and the assets I need, so I highly encourage you to have a look on the website and see what could work for your type of content. Making videos in 2022 is a little more than just shooting and editing, and using animated titles or motion graphics can really elevate the production value of your content. Having those extra elements in your videos not only make your work more legit, but it also adds a little something for the viewer and makes the whole experience more interactive and engaging. I don't really see myself going back to not using those assets, and I'm looking forward to using them with varied applications even outside of YouTube. That's it for me for today guys, hopefully this was helpful to you, and again don't forget to use the link in the description to check out Motion Array. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.